All right, so here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself think in this arena right now. Two of the most dominant, well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Guida goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shin guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big head kick lands. Punch over the top. Circling to his right. Nice body kick. Oh, big head kick there. Oh. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, man. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be troubled defensively. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands the right hand. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Kick to the body by Guido. Just out of range with that right hook. That right oh. hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with that right hand. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That shot is blocked by Lee. Nice counter left hook. Just misses with the straight left hand. 
Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Guida. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice straight punch. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just misses with the punch by Guida. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just missed with that right hand. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh! What a round! Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, here we go, third and final round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Misses with the left hook. Nice punch there by Lee. That liver kick. Guida's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. And there comes the separation now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Guida. He lands with the left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't wanna eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Trying to establish that jab once again. Guida gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. And he continues to work the body here. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, a violent strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Big kick. That left hook landed on the button. Left hook counter. Wow! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. 
What a fight! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sports biggest